I work with Bosco Uganda in the technical department. I'm going to take you through tower safety training, a brief training on how to climb a tower. First and foremost, for you to climb a tower, you have to take a basic training course that will make you be able to gain confidence and later experience. It's always bad to send someone who has not been given a little training on the tower. So I'll start with the things that are needed for you if you are going for climbing a tower. First and foremost, to determine whether you are going for a new installation, an upgrade, or is emergency response to fix a problem. So that you, if it's emergency, you just pick your item and go, but still you need to check the basic items that are needed. But if not, you need to plan and have a checklist that you tick, and then you prepare all the equipment in, in a separate place. And if you are going for a tower training, a tower climbing, it's always good to have two people to go at the side. And the third one might be a driver because of the safety procedures that will be needed and support that will be needed during the work. Now when you are going to climb, you need to have a full harness. Full harness have uh, the, the, the back day ring, have uh, this for your thigh, and then you have this for your chest. And then you will have a lanyard. This one has like a sock absorber. Uh, this one, uh, the carabiners, that help for holding. And this is uh, a lanyard for positioning on the tower. You hook on your chest and then onto the tower. Uh, and this, you hook on this side and on this side onto the tower, it helps you to balance when you are on the tower. And lastly, this is uh, the belt where this hook uh, is connected. So if you have all this in place, and for the second person, this will be like a, a backup person. In case something happened and you faint up on the tower, this person will go and help you. So. It's normally advisable for a good company to have a pulley so that you can lower someone who has got an incident on the tower. Another thing that you need to have is uh, you need to have the back. This back is for putting tools which will be used on the tower. And then you have these are the equipment that you can use on the tower. Uh, you need to have an helmet. Need to have gloves. This gloves will help you to hold. If it has grips on it, that will make you hold the tower and not to slide. Then also you'll have a lot of insects and wind. You need a glass that if you're up on that supports you from the sun sign, from wind and insects. You need to have a communication device. Normally it's not advisable to go on the tower with your phone. Because it's risky, if your phone slips, you might think of saving your phone. So this one, you need uh, a walkie-talkie or a radio phone. This one has this hook where you can hook on your belt. The other thing that you need is a rope. The rope you have to tie on you so that when you climb up, you can send back to the person who is down. And use this rope for pulling radio. You can also use for pulling the tool rock and other equipment that you might need and uh, you have forgotten them. So now let me take you on the process of how to put this climbing gear on. First and foremost, you will need to pull the full arrest. The full arrest, this side goes to the back and is pulled by this hook. You will start by putting your legs on this and then you turn and check. Then you put your second leg in and then pull until it reaches your thigh. After it reaches your thigh and is firm, then you put this on your shoulder, and then uh, you put the next one on your shoulder. Now, if your foot, you have to adjust to make sure that is firm on you, very firm. So after this, the next thing that you will put, you will put this belt. And this belt 
is going to help and hold. So you adjust this belt up to uh, the level that can hold you. So this is the button where you press, then it will release. You hook this, and it's firm. The next thing that you will have is uh, you have this. So this you have it uh, hooked around the belt. You always make this pass through the tower behind the tower when you are up and it hooks you here and then uh, you'll have this uh, fall arrest normally for safety you can put uh, this fall arrest on the middle here so that when you are falling it can be a shock absorber to hold you have this linker that will help you with uh, full harvest. So when you are falling, it will help you. So you will have to hook this here. And uh, there's normally a provision for hooking this. this. Then you have your full harvest position here. And lastly, you will have this hook. Link here for your chest. So you hold this here, and then uh, you hold this here. So you have this, if you are climbing, you keep on holding, so that when you lose balance, it can hold you from falling down. And if you are doing your work, you can hold this onto the tower from half to hold you from behind, so that you are stable. So the thing that you will do is this. You will have this walkie-talkie put here, well, there is a communication. Trop will help you for tying this equipment. You'll have radios left. You should not carry radios, it's risky. So you can tie. When you are tying this rope, you need to tie which is easy to release. To put on your glasses. If you're on the tower, there are things that you need to look out. When you reach the ground before climbing tower, you need to Look at your surrounding. You have to have a spray because there are wasps. They can easily stink you and they are always on the radios or on the tower. So you need to have a spray. You either move it or it will be sent to you. And then other things that you need to take caution of is you need to time when there is high wind, it's not advisable to go. So on high hill, Evening hours is not the best time to go and do installation. And the moment you're on the tower and you just hear a thunderstorm, you need to come down immediately because there's lightning coming in and it will distract you. And then another thing that has to be in place, you need to have a first aid kit so that if, in case of any injury, the other colleague can treat you right from the side before moving you to another one. And then you need to have an emergency plan. If you are going to the site, you should know the site by location. Like here, the site we are in is Bosco Uganda Head Office, which is located in Forgot Paris of Juba Road. So, in Kantas building. So, if I call any emergency response to come here, they will know where we are working at. So, on, on this, we are now going to see how we can climb and do the workspace on the tower. I should not avoid climbing from the side where equipment is located. It will uh, disrupt you. I don't have a climbing boat, but this one has enough grips. But normally we need to use a workshop climbing boat. And you need to climb from the side which is free and of the sun so that your face is protected. So if you start climbing and this normal has to be very close and open. So you climb like this, you hold. So that in case of anything you can balance. You cannot fall. In case you try to fall, this will protect you. You will not fall down because you have already hooked yourself on the tower. But if you climb without uh, holding this to the tower, it's always risky. You need to be patient and climb, because remember safety first.
just to go slowly and make sure this is hooked properly because safety comes first. For you to work, you need to be safe. Here, you are fully protected. Apart from that, now this is where this one becomes useful. If it's enough, you have to protect yourself and bring this. Open the rope and the release until this is enough to, to hold you. So if it's enough, you lock this rope. Security here, holding it from here so I can balance. Up another lanyard here, holding me. You cannot fall if you lose balance. So you're finished. The signal is okay. Everything is working. Then you have to lower down. So the first thing that you need to do, since your, your boat work back, you don't need to leave it up. So you have to lower your work back down. That's all the tools that you have used. The screwdriver, the nut, everything, crimping tool, in case there was a crimping from half here. So I told you, you need to tie this, so that loosening is, is, is very easy. So I'll just uh, loosen this, and you see it's ready uh, to be down. So uh, the parcel down will control the rock from the other side and for me I'll be releasing this equipment until uh, the rate is down. Now you are going down. You see the rope is automatically going down with you. So you move to the next step. So in case uh, at this point you slip it's completely hot. You don't fall down straight away. So that is the maximum safety. And also for heat, you have to put on a helmet in case something falls on you. And the person down has to also put on helmet. So you do not be lazy. And now say, for me, I'm going down very fast. I'm tired. And another tip is, if you are tired, don't climb the tower because you will not concentrate and that can lead to accident or even you lose in your life. So you can now remove this and also dislodge the rock from your side and you find that you have climbed the tower, the tower safely and also you have come down safely. So you start now unpacking yourself because there is, there is sometime, some of the climbing gears are also heavy so you need to help you to relieve your chest first so after removing this then you can come and make your waist so this is the walkie talkie that I was communicating with I put it down then I come to this So the weight is getting lighter. So I come to this and then now I can remove all into to APC through the LOPNET project, the peer exchange that has made this possible. Thank you so much.